It is utterly cold. Tonight, in the dead of winter, the city of Boston sweeping up hundreds of makeshift tents and living quarters in the heart of the city. If the city offered you a place to stay, would you go? Absolutely. If it was a stable place, why would you? In just the last days, the city of Boston cleared out this whole sidewalk of tents. This street is supposed to be next, but it's negative nine wind chill today, which only speaks to the complications of those living here. Mark St. John used to live on the streets himself. Once a drug addict, an alcoholic, and convicted bank robber, he turned his life around and now working extensively with those here. What is different about this effort than efforts you've seen over the last decades? I haven't seen any efforts over the last decades. No one's done anything. They've just allowed the population to exist? Yes. Yep. The city and its new mayor, Michelle Wu, contending this time is different, offering alternative housing options, outreach workers going one by one, a nearby hotel, new openings at a pop-up cottage community nearby, space at the city's shelters. We have led a housing surge. We've created enough housing that is low threshold, medically staffed and supported for each one of the residents of the encampments. Sworn in just under two months ago, the mayor moving quickly. Just two blocks away, we ran into city workers dismantling encampments. As one woman, who did not want to show her face, appeared from her tent to look for help. They told us that they're going to get us housing and stuff, but I haven't gotten anything yet. I, I haven't gotten anything. I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to go down there right now and check out because everybody has to be out of here really soon. And because they're clearing it out right now. Yeah. And did they tell you how many hours you have? Till tomorrow. These encampments, not unique to Boston, but burgeoning in American cities, Phoenix to Los Angeles to Seattle and San Francisco and more. Homelessness has increased in America each of the last four years. The number of unsheltered individuals climbing by 7% just in 2020. The federal government tracking that on a given night, more than 220,000 people are unsheltered. Concerns the situation will continue to get worse as home and rental prices soar and the pandemic lingers. Nobody in America really wants to be living in an encampment. It's not a choice that they're, they're actively making. It's a choice made out of lack of better options. Since October, multiple deaths at these encampments. The Boston Police Department reporting 34 aggravated assaults and 12 robberies in that time, too. It's not the place to be. Like, you, see, you see people die every day. I'm getting tired of walking over needles, human waste, blood all over the bathrooms. The mayor says the city intends to end these encampments for good. But just how far the city will go to enforce this, unclear. Our concern now is that the mayor has given an imposed uh, deadline of January 12th where it's an or else we're going to come in and, and, and take away and sweep away all the tents. Is there potential these individuals would be arrested? The goal is that that will not be necessary because we have actually supported everyone exactly how they needed. There are going to be a number of individuals who reject the alternative options that you have provided them. And in this dead of winter here, their perceived last layer of defense, a tent, a tarp, are being thrown away. How did you grapple with the decision knowing that consequence? Every single day that goes by, as the temperatures plummet, it becomes even more of a life, life or death situation, living unhoused without heat or hot water. Working with people, meeting people where they are, leads to a very different set of conversations about providing housing and having that trusting relationship to be able to connect people to services. Mayor Wu said essentially she hopes to prove to people that for individuals who are homeless, that this is just one step on their journey, that if the city is able to provide the social services, the transportation and the job training to these individuals, that there is a long-term way out. They're even looking at some potential older buildings on the island nearby as detox units and as other housing facilities for these individuals. She hopes to make Boston a place that proves that the proactive approach to individuals with homelessness is the best approach to help these people long-term. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.